Welcome back, welcome back. Week 23, Matt's Tears, as always. We rank teams based on obscure categories. Finn and Slim do not know the list, and then they make one move at the end. We will get right into it. Goat these week, teams- goat week, Jordan week, goat week. It's Braun week, but um, these teams are buried. These teams have been off the tiers for a long time now, but that is the Wizards, Blazers, Pistons, Spurs, Hornets, Grizzlies, and Raptors. Off the tiers, new addition, the Atlanta Hawks. I know we're recording this after they just beat the Celtics, but they're off the tiers. Um, the big win, big win. But still, I didn't have the tiers adjusted for that. Monday's games don't count. But, hey, you never know. They could be resurrected next week if they keep playing well. But we have the Bulls. First, and that's first the resurrected? Yeah. Um, and the Hawks. So long, farewell, the Sixers. Um, this team just looks nothing like they're ready for a playoff spot. I know they're going to be in the play-in most likely, and I just don't see them getting out of it. I think someone from that 9-10 game is going to jump them and get the 8 seed and lose in 4 to Boston. But you never know. I think the Sixers are pretty much dead. Danger zone. We have the Lakers and Warriors. The Rockets are coming. The Rockets are coming, and they're coming fast. They've lost one game in all of March, so they're coming out firing. Slim, I'm going to need you to read the uh, tier for this one. <laughs> Green FN, how you talking about? But the Houston Rockets, I mean, they, they're they on the fucking rise. They're going the right direction, and I'm Jalen Green is hooping. Jalen Green is hooping. Slipping, ooh, tumbling. We got these teams <laughs> falling down their uh, respective standings right now. We got the Clippers, the Cavs, the Heat, the Kings, and the Pacers. Um, just all teams that have not been playing the best ball of their season so far. Old Reliable. These teams are basically just kind of wanting to stay pat on where they are in the standings. I don't think any of them are really going to shoot up too high. Um, the Knicks and uh, Magic have a chance to get to the three seed because the Cavs have been terrible, but Hey, they just got to keep doing what they're doing right now and they'll be secured in the playoff for all of these teams. So, yeah. 1A. These teams both have a 1A guy and a 1A offense slash defense, but they just don't have the flip side of it consistently. And that's what's going to get them into trouble. That would be the Timberwolves and the Dallas Mavericks. Can't stop, won't stop. We got the Bucks and the OKC Thunder, two teams who are playing really good ball right now. They just played. Shea didn't play and the Bucks killed them. But still, they're just they just can't stop winning at this point. And come playoff time, it's just not going to be I think he did play and he just sold. Oh, maybe that maybe that's what it was. I didn't think he had 13, 13 points in 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, he had like he ended with like 20 something. I don't I think he ended with 13 in 40 minutes. Jeez. Well, I saw I didn't um watch that game because obviously March Madness was on, but it was um, what's it called? I just saw a TikTok of like Shea def- trying to defend his MVP against uh, Giannis and the Bucks, and it's him doing a TikTok dance from like years ago. Because but, he put up 13 in 40 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Well, screw you, Shea, then. And this is my shit. This is my shit. These two she teams. Said, I play this song. She said, This is my shit. Um, but yeah, Nuggets and Celtics. If I made this after the Celtics Hawks games, they would be dropped down. But hey. For right now, they're staying at the top. I still think they are the best team in the Eastern Conference. So they're going to be atop the tiers for week 23. As always, Finn and Slim are going to make their move, but that is week 23. Jordan week. Thank you. Can I go first this week? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Thank you, big dog. Um, So I've been doing – I've done this like two or three weeks in a row, which is probably a bad habit where I make my decision before I see the tiers. And I just know what team I want to be moved up or down. And that's the Mavericks this week. I think the Mavericks are an absolute threat. They don't, They gave that boy a team. Luka Doncic, that's the best white boy i ever seen in my life. Quote Stephen A. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. With two with two long bigs like that, two lob threats, the what they're like that when you're building a team around guys like him and Kyrie, you don't need to. You don't need to build crazy. You just get two low-key guys, PJ and Daniel, who could stretch low-key, pause, and who are elite lob threats and elite rim defenders. That is all this team has ever needed. And in my personal opinion, 
they look like a different team than they did before the deadline. They even record. I don't care about. Um, I'm just going off eye of test. You don't. Yeah, but you don't want to see that team in a seven game series. I no, you, guarantee you, you, they make a huge ruckus this year. I think so too. I think they have a serious shot to be in the conference finals. It's just a matter of what seed they end up getting. Because if they play at Denver in the first round, I don't like their chances. And I think the Mavericks are Dude, really good. Know. Dude, Denver is too is so good, bro. Denver, I've been parading all year, but I'm just throwing it out there. The Mavs might be my favorite to get out of the West right now. They're very nice. They are very nice. I could see them beating uh really all of the teams that are on this page right here minnesota okc denver in in a whatever playoff series you know it could be the first round second round third round whatever i could see them making it to the finals this year not that the seeding would work out this way i could see them beating minnesota in five easy without cat maybe but sometimes i mean cat it would be the it would have to be the first round because i think cat's supposed that's to why i said the seeding wouldn't work out but like yeah. I mean, if they get to the six, which is entirely likely, it could would definitely work out there. But they just, if they win their game, I believe they are the six seed. So um, they're dangerous. I, they're on my. They're number one team. They're not the best team in the West, but they're number one team in the West. I would not want to see. That's a fact. That's a fact. Slim, what's your move? Uh, go back one page for me. Surely. Sheesh. I'm I'm moving the Sacramento Kings up to old reliable. I know Maddie's not fond. I, I guess Finn ain't either, but you know, we gonna like the beam on this side. We don't you know? like Sabonis. We don't like Sabonis here. I love Sabonis. That boy got like 45 back-to-back double doubles. The boy is really handling business, but he's doing it against, you know, I would say some of the biggest or really I would maybe the only Big threat, who's a five, which is Anthony Davis. He'd be giving Anthony Davis the work anytime they play the Lakers. And I think Anthony Davis is the the most of a threat, you know, coming from an offensive prowess that you would have to worry about from a center. I'm Joker's up there too, but uh, I don't. Uh, uh, Yo, I never seen Tim Duncan play before in your life. I think Sabonis could. I think Sabonis can bump up with Joker, Jokic a little bit better. But um, I just think the guys that Sabonis and Swiper got around them, it's just they they got function. Mike Brown showed you that hey, we can make it. You know, this deep last season, and we see where the Lakers are at. We see where Golden State is at. I think that Sacramento has has maybe solidified their spot for being able to uh, show up in the playoffs consecutively. I know it was 18 years last season, you know, where they had made their first appearance, you know, in that amount of time. So I think that is definitely due for them to show back up. And I was talking to Maddie today that they are within, you know, three games for you know, in between three different teams for the four seed or five seed, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're the seven seed right now. So ahead of them are three the, back, technically, so are the Kings and Suns, but so or sorry, the Mavericks and the Suns, but that's very the you know right behind the Clippers. That's you know that's pretty tough, y'all. Y'all gotta watch out for them. Don't sleep on them because, like I said, they have that experience and you know to bl- to play the reigning champs the season before in a first round all the way to a game seven where your 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 arguably star player got hurt swiper come on now y'all better stop sleeping oh, right man. right there got him on right there how you talking about? yeah i mean they also for the people in the comments that are going to be annoyed that they're in slipping tumbling i'm saying that they're slipping and tumbling because of their seeding last season in comparison to this year so, um, can we, can we get a move out? Can we can we get a move out of you? Mm. I made the tears. Mm. Wow. Um, well, my the biggest team that moved out of everyone was the Cavs, dropping from um, tier eight to tier six, two tiers down because they were they that were busy. Spicy. Um, Shout out Jalen Green playing for his kids. Balling. Jaylen. They actually might – they might be the biggest move. They were one away from um, being off the tiers, and now they've passed uh, Warriors and Lakers. But, yeah, I mean, that's week 23, as always. 
great up, great up. And please subscribe. Share this one to your friends. It's the best show on YouTube. We'll see you guys next time.